It's pop versus rock. This double platinum selling glam metal band is best known for top 10 hits, Icy Red and Cherry Pie. They've toured with everyone from Poison to Motley Crue. Their latest CD is entitled Born Again. Ladies and gentlemen, Warrant. Everyone remembers Electric Light Orchestra, Evil Woman, Strange Magic and Telephone Line, among many other smash hits. Well, we've got the lights, and they've got the electricity. Give it up for the orchestra. The battle of the bands begins now. Please welcome your host, Meatloaf. Hi, I'm Meatloaf, and this is Rock in a Hard Place a unique show that features two teams of stars in a competition unlike any other, a head-to-head -head battle of the bands to determine who is the very best. Now, each team is playing for money, but charities will be the beneficiaries of their efforts. All right, let the games begin. Let's go over here and ask Warren. Jamie, what charity are you playing for? Skyler Neal Fund, T.J. Martell Foundation. It's uh, for cancer. It's for cancer. Good job. All right, and Eric, how are you, Eric? I'm good, man. Okay, what chair are you playing for? We're playing for the Elizabeth Glazier Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Fantastic. All right, here's how the show's going to work. We're going to play a wide range of games designed to test your music and general knowledge, thus the name Rock in a Hard Place. I'll explain the games in detail as we go along, so good luck to both of you, and let the games begin. First up is Heavy Mental. I will ask a question one at a time to each team member. And if you answer correctly, you will get $100. But if you're wrong, the next person has a shot at the answer. All right. Let's go to Warren. Hey, Jamie. Yeah. Tell me about Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. Well, it's uh, Cherry Pie. The song Cherry Pie is on that, and kids of all ages have been rocking out to it. <laughs> and it's fun. When we go on tour, a lot of people come and bring their controllers so we can autograph it and stuff. Right. It's a great thing. Are you ready for your first question? Yeah, let's do it. If you face north and then turn 90 degrees to the right, which direction are you now facing? West. Is it west? No. 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 Hey, Stephen. If you face north and then turn 90 degrees to the right, which direction are you now facing? South. Is it south? I think you've got it, Eric. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let me ask you a question. Were you guys ever Boy Scouts? Uh, no. Did you ever own a compass? No. Okay. Eric, you face north, and then you turn 90 degrees to your right. Yes, sir. Which direction are you facing? It's got to be east. <clears throat> Is it east? Yeah! <laughs> Eric? $100. All right. All right. We're going to the other Eric. Eric, how are you? I'm good. How That's you, good. Mate? I know for a fact that you have played with some of the biggest artists of all time. <laughs> That's true. That yeah, could who? Be. Could you name a couple? Well. Or just one, even? One large. One large artist. Uh, well, I played quite a bit with you. I yes, think. you have. <laughs> Eric has sung on every album that I have done since 1981, with the exception of one. All right, you ready for your first question? Sure. What rock legend and singer of Great Falls of Fire married his 13-year-old cousin? Jerry Lee Lewis. Is it Jerry Lee Lewis for $100? Yes! <laughs> Lewis, at the beginning of Money for Nothing, whose voice is heard singing... I want my MTV. Sting. Is it Sting? Yes! <laughs> hey, Gordon, what is the first month of the year that has no national federal holiday? Mm. What do you think, Gordon? February. Is it February? No. <laughs> President's Day and Martin Luther King Day. Two holidays. In February. In February. Oh, cool. Nice. You got that now, right? Cool. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Jamie, what is the first month of the year that has no national federal holiday? I'll go with March. Is it March? Yeah! 
All right, Stephen, here's your question. The Fugees is a shortened form of what word which reflects Wycliffe Jean's Caribbean roots? I'm going to guess refugees. Is it refugees? <laughs> Let's go to the next question for Eric. If drummer Ginger Baker had a baker's dozen of drum sets, how many drum sets would he have? Twelve? Baker's dozen. I'm going to go Baker's 12. dozen. Baker's dozen? Okay, he know. says 12. <laughs> Eric? Yes, me? Do you know what a baker's dozen is? I believe I do. Okay. 13. Is it 13? <laughs> yeah! All right, Lewis, here's your question. What is the only primate whose average weight is more than the average weight of a man? I'll go for a gorilla. Is it gorilla? Yeah! Clean it up! Okay, Gordon, the amazing musician. Are you ready for your question? I am. Thank okay, you. here we go. Famous for singing Stand By Your Man, how many times was country superstar Tammy Wynette married? Obviously more than once. Five times. Is the answer five? Yes! <laughs> okay. So, Warren, you are behind, so you get the first bonus question. We are ready. All right, let's see the category. Top ten nationwide fast food restaurants. McDonald's. Yeah. Burger King. Burger King. Taco Bell. KFC. Arby's. <laughs> are, these, are, are, are these restaurants you frequent? We're on the road yeah, a lot. Okay. Subway. Okay, Subway. Yes. Dairy Queen. Yep. <laughs> Pizza Hut. Yep. Quiznos. Quiznos. There is Quiznos. Come on, one more. You only need one more. You only need Jack. one more. Jack, Jack in, in the, the box. box. Jack in the Box. No. Uh, how could Jack in the Box not be up there? Let's see what the last one is. Wendy's. Wendy's. Well, you got nine out of ten for $900. All right, we're going over to the orchestra. And your question is, top ten best-selling weekly magazines in the United States. Okay, people. People. Time. 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 Us. 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 Okay. Us. Newsweek. News, Newsweek. 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 Yeah, that's, that's a definitely. Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. Yeah, good one, Eric. U.S. News. U.S. News. And World Report, yes. And World Report, yeah. Okay. Entertainment Weekly. Entertainment Weekly. Yeah, there it is. It's for women's magazine. Um, no. So you got seven out of ten. We need three more. TV Guide. TV Guide. Oh, TV Guide. Oh, TV Guide. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great job, guys. You got eight out of ten. The other two are Star and In Touch Weekly. Oh, Star. There you go. All right, so after the first game, the score is Warrant 1,200, the orchestra 1,300.